With this, now we can state the next theorem. Um, if u in c to the n cross n, then the following are equivalent. A, u is unitary. So basically, this is telling you various properties of unitary matrices and also various conditions which you can state which are equivalent to saying that u is unitary. So u is non-singular. And u Hermitian equals u inverse. u u Hermitian equals the identity matrix. u Hermitian is unitary. E. The columns of U form an orthonormal set. The rows of U form an orthonormal set. And finally, for all x, the Euclidean length of y, u, x, is the same as that of x. Which is y Hermitian y, x Hermitian x. Okay, so it's making many statements about uh, unitary matrices and equivalent ways of stating that a matrix is unitary. So let's see um, how, how to show this. The first few parts are very simple. Uh, later, we'll just for the last part, we'll need to do a little bit more work. So um, first of all, for equivalence, we have to show that all these properties imply each other. Now, so if I take the first two properties, if you unitary, then by definition, u Hermitian u is i, and so u Hermitian is an inverse of u. So, so u Hermitian u equals i. I'll write it this way: u Hermitian is equals u inverse. Okay, it's a u Hermitian is an inverse of u. And so these are reversible statements. And so uh, saying that uh, A is um, unitary is the same as saying u Hermitian equals u inverse. So this is actually establishing this both ways. And similarly, um, by the property I just mentioned, um, B A equals I if and only if A B equals I. So which means that U U Hermitian equals I. And again, this is a reversible statement. So if I say U Hermitian U equals I, um, okay, let me put it, write it a little more clearly.
since BA equals I, if and only if AB equals I, U Hermitian U equals I is the same as saying U, U Hermitian equals I. So A and C are also equivalent statements. Um, Now, U Hermitian is unitary. That immediately follows from, uh, so if U, U Hermitian equals I, that is the same as saying U Hermitian, whole Hermitian times U Hermitian equals I. So U Hermitian satisfies the definition of a unitary matrix. So uh, essentially this means that uh, D is true and in fact uh, D is equivalent to A. So that establishes the equivalence of A, B, C, D. Now, if ui is the ith column of u, then u Hermitian u equals the identity matrix is equivalent to saying ui Hermitian uj equals 1 if i equals j and 0 otherwise. And so that means that columns of u are orthonormal. And so this same as saying A is equivalent to E. And uh, so E said that columns of U form an orthonormal set. By just doing the same thing with U Hermitian, the rows of U form an orthonormal set. So similarly, D is equivalent to F. So now the last part is this G, which says that for all X, the Euclidean length of Y equal to UX is the same as that of X, that is Y Hermitian Y equals X Hermitian X. One way is very easy. Um, if A holds, that is U is unitary, and y is equal to ux, then y Hermitian y is equal to x Hermitian u Hermitian ux. I'm just substituting y equals ux, which is equal to u Hermitian u is the identity matrix. So this is equal to x Hermitian x. So this proves one way. So A implies G. And so what remains is to show the other way, that is G implies A. Okay, so for G implies A, um, so let's uh, let's first consider the one cross one case. So n is equal to one. Then what happens here is that if I take y equal to a x, this is a scalar thing. So everything here is a scalar. 
then uh, if I look at y Hermitian, which is the same as the conjugate y, this is equal to, the condition says that this is equal to x Hermitian x for every x. Now we need to show that this implies the matrix A, the one cross one matrix A is unitary. So this, this is, if this is true, this implies that uh, mod A square equals, um, so Y Hermitian Y is equal to mod A square times X star X. So if I take X star X to the other side, I get mod A squared equal to one, which implies A conjugate A equals one, um, which is the same as saying A is unitary. This is the definition of a unitary matrix. So, so the one cross one case, it is easy. Now, um, for the two cross two case, now let's consider the two cross two case and then we'll generalize it to the n cross n case. So consider then here, let's let u equal to the matrix u11, u12, u21, u22. And U Hamishan U. So let's say this is a matrix A one one, A one two, A two one, A two two. It's just some notation I'm defining. Okay, so now here by definition, this is a Hermitian symmetric matrix. So here we have that A12 equals A21 star. And uh, let's call this both equal to A say. Okay, now uh, we'll take some specific choices for this vector. So um, if X equal to this vector one zero, then, so once again, just to recall, what we're trying to show here is that if y Hermitian y equals x Hermitian x for all x, then u must be a unitary matrix. Okay, so if I take y Hermitian y, that is equal to Hermitian 1, 0 times u Hermitian u, which is this matrix A11, A a star a two two this times one zero now um, this this product here it just pulls out the entry a one one and uh, what we are given is that this is equal to x Hermitian x is equal to one so A11 is equal to one. So A11 equals one. Similarly, so considering X equal to zero one, A22 two two equals one. So this matrix is of the form one A a star and one. So we just need to show that A equals zero. Then U Hermitian U will be the identity matrix or U will be unitary. Now, if I take um, X equal to the vector one, one, then Y Hermitian Y is equal to one, one times the matrix one A, A star, one times the vector one one which is in turn equal to so if i expand this out this is one one times one plus a a star plus one so it becomes one plus a plus a star plus one which is the same as two plus a plus a star 
and this is what we are given is that this is equal to x emission x which is equal to 2 okay so this means that a plus a star which is equal to the real part of a 2 times the real part of a is equal to 0 okay so which in turn implies that the real part of a equals 0 Similarly, if you choose x equal to 1i, then, and you, you do the same thing, you will have 1i, this matrix times 1i, so then this becomes 1 minus i a, a star minus i, and then you do this times 1, so that gives me 1 plus i a, plus i times this made uh, a star plus i sorry here it will become minus i because i'm taking the conjugate transpose so it's minus i times a star plus i and so that becomes equal to so minus i squared is minus 1 which cancels with this and so I'll be left with um, i a minus i a star and that is supposed to be equal to the norm of this vector which becomes 1 minus 1 which is 0 norm squared of this vector so this is equal to 0. And just for the sake of clarity I'll write it as x hamation x which is equal to 0. Did I say that correctly or have I made a mistake? Sir, how one the cal cancelling? Yeah, thanks for asking that. So the ones are not cancelling, right? Minus i squared is actually plus 1. So this is actually 2 plus i a minus i a star. And similarly, x hamation x is not 0. If I take x hamation x, it becomes the inner product between 1 minus i and 1 i. So that becomes 1 minus i square and so this is also equal to 2. So as before I get 2 2 plus i a minus i a star is equal to 2. So that means i a plus i a star equals 0 and I can take out i and uh, take it to the other side. So I'll be left with a minus a star, which is equal to zero, which implies that the imaginary part of a is also equal to zero. So we've shown that the real part of a is zero, and we've shown that the imaginary part of a is zero. So that implies a equals zero. So that means that u Hermitian u is equal to the identity matrix or u is unitary. So what's left is to show that this holds in the n cross n case also. So here the, we'll use exactly this idea that we just discussed, but what we'll do is, um, so once again, let A equal to U Hermitian U and suppose X is such that 
So okay, I'll just write it like this. X is this vector with zeros. There's going to be two ones and zeros everywhere else. Where these two are in the ith and jth position. Okay, so then if I take, um, if I define uh, then y equal to ux implies that if I take y Hermitian y, this will pull out, this is equal to x Hermitian ax, which can then be written as, okay, I, I'll just do one thing because I'm, go, I'm, okay, so let's call this xi. It's a vector which has zeros everywhere except xi in the ith position and xj in the jth position because I'll want to use xi equals 1, xj equal to 0, then xi equals 1, uh, xi equals 0, xj equals 1, and then xi equals 1, xj equals 1, and finally xi equals 1 and xj equal to i. That's what we did. We considered four cases. We considered x equal to 1, 0, and 0, 1, x equal to 1, 1, and x equal to 1i. So those are the four xi, xj values that I'm considering later. But for the purpose of writing this, I'll just say xi, x is a vector where only the xi and xj are non-zero. Okay, so then if I do xi, x Hermitian ax, I will get um, none of the other entries matter. It becomes xi star xj star times aii aij aji ajj times xi xj and so now this is exactly the two cross two case we considered earlier. And so, um, so now we can follow the previous arguments. Which means I will choose xi xj equal to 1 0 0 1 1 1 and 1 i. to show that this matrix AII, AIJ, AJI, AJJ is nothing but the identity matrix, two cross two. And so, but I and J are arbitrary here. So every principal two cross two sub matrix of A is the identity is the two cross two identity matrix. which implies A is equal to I or U Hermitian U equals I and hence U is unitary.
okay so those six uh, statements are equivalent seven statements okay 